Now here's a review I thought I'd never be doing. Japanese breakfast cereal. The reason being Japanese breakfast cereal sections in the supermarkets suck. The selection is terrible. Most of what you find there are cornflake ripoffs and they're usually frosted or chocolate flavored and the chocolate flavored cereals here in Japan taste terrible. I tried some, never want to again. There are some chocolate Cheerios lookalikes and a few granola-ish type cereals which are okay but a couple times they gave me heartburn. And I have found actual Kellogg's Corn Flakes and Special K on occasion but they're actually pretty expensive. Finding a generic unfrosted Corn Flake type cereal that's you know pretty cheap is not that easy. I can get it at Aeon, I can get it at Hasta La Vista which is only recently I could get it there but other places pretty much can't. So I usually order from the Foreign Buyers Club in Kobe to get Cheerios and that's about the only way I've been able to get Cheerios here in Japan. Plain regular Cheerios because that's actually my favorite. Just recently it has become possible to buy honey Nut Cheerios at Costco, so I do that occasionally. I'm not big on the sweet cereals. I think one reason the breakfast cereal section sucks is because so many Japanese people have a Japanese breakfast. Rice and miso soup and fish, or maybe bread. Not a lot of people regularly have breakfast cereal for breakfast. I have to have it every day. Pretty much. There's probably less than 20 days a year I don't have cereal for breakfast. It might not even be that high. Okay, having said all that, there is only one cereal I have found that I would say is sort of original Japanese breakfast cereal, Genmai Flakes. Okay, now a flake is not all that original, although I do like how the box this way is up, but if you turn it this way, this is up. So you've got your display options in the store, depending on how tall your shelf is. Genmai means brown rice, or at least that's what Google Translate says. I have never actually bothered to check what the meaning was before now, but that makes sense from the picture here. That is a rice plant. Tastes really good. I like it. When I run into Cheerios and I can't find a plain cornflake one, this is definitely my choice. Well, this even tastes better than cornflakes. I like this better. It's just it's more expensive. If I'm feeling cheap, I want the plain cornflakes. If I'm feeling a little more financially solvent, is that the word? I'll, I'll buy these. Well, Kumiko likes these too. I've lived in Japan for 14. 14 years now? No, I'm approaching the end of my 14th year, and I have never seen anything but the plain old regular Genmai Flakes, which are good. But just the other day in the store, I found a limited time only Genmai Flakes Satsumaimo version. Japan loves doing limited time only products. This is the first time I have seen it in a breakfast cereal. Brown Rice Flakes Sweet Potato version. I have not tried it yet. Kumiko has. She's already got into it. She says, yeah, it tastes like sweet potato. I have got to try this. It's not breakfast time, but I'm hungry and I don't care. I'll have a small bowl. They look, well, flaky. And they smell pretty much the same as the regular Genmai Flakes. I'd say they look halfway between a corn flake and a bran flake in color. But the big question is, how do they taste? Let us find out. Or well, let me find out and I'll tell you. That really tastes like sweet potato. <laughs> Really, really, really does. I pretty much only get the, the, the Genmai Flake taste in the aftertaste. I really like it. This is good. Mm. It is a little sweeter than the regular Genmai Flakes. I think there's some kind of sugar coating. Not surprising because sweet potato is very sweet. A natural sweetness, not so much a sugar sweetness. I think this is a little bit more sugary sweetness than just a regular sweet potato would be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love it. Mm. I'm sad this is a limited time only thing. Crunchy. Mm, you gotta drink the milk at the end, that's half the fun. That is absolutely fantastic. I have a, a new favorite cereal, or Japanese domestic cereal. Cheerios is always gonna be my favorite. But I just noticed it's actually made by Kellogg's, so this, this is interesting. It's the first time I've seen a Kellogg's cereal available in Japan and not in North America. If you live in North America and you wanna try these, well, Bug Kellogg's. If you live in Japan and want to try these, hurry out and get them right now. I don't know how long they will be around. I might have to buy a few more boxes before they're gone. I actually hope this becomes a regular product. I would like to see this though in the bigger size because buying a whole bunch of small boxes is a pain in the butt. Excellent breakfast cereal. I definitely recommend getting it. It's a wonderful blend of both worlds. Healthy again, my cereal with a sweet side for the people who love the sugary cereals. It's not pure sugar, it is sweet, it's wonderful, it's great, it's delicious. I'm not getting paid to sell this, but I wish I was. <laughs> if you work at Kellogg's Japan and you want to sponsor me, my contact information is down below. Anyone think that's gonna work?
No, me neither. If you like what you see, click the flakes up. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, cereal, food, whatever, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Mark Visser, aka Sparkets. I hope to see you back here for another I Live in Japan very soon. This will definitely be the last video of 2013. Everyone have a happy new year. Well, okay, there could be one more. Maybe.